Today, I have a date with the Siren Head. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, am available. My bouncy hair, you know, just, just perfect. And, uh, I got a match and I'm ready to take Siren Head out on the best adventure of their lives. What is your name? Well, you gotta introduce yourself first, right? Right? Am I right? Yeah, my name is Kaibo. I just started my... I just started to... You know, I think this is a story of how I dated Siren Head. I'm gonna go with that. So, you know, I was walking. Walking through the woods. Oh! Oh! I don't like the woods. Why? Because there's a lot of bugs. But I was walking anyways. And, uh, you know... That's just how my day started. Oh! There's an abandoned railroad track behind my house. It's perfect for walks. That's probably why I went out there, because I feel safe. It's behind my house. No one can kill me. Maybe. And that's that's just how it goes. Beautiful, beautiful place. People use it often, which is weird, I guess. But lately, I haven't seen anyone around. Is it because of the bees? Because, I mean, there are murderous hornets around, I guess, that kill people. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? A siren sound? Oh my god! It's rare to get a tornado around here. Not really. We live in the Midwest. That thing's like a tornado place. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere! Uh, oh my god, I fall to the ground. Brax forgot to tell me happy birthday. He just he just told me to just right just now. I hope you're watching this, Brax. <laughs> Siren head. This is it. This is how I die. God damn it! No, it can't end like this. I just wanted ice cream. Yeah, this is probably... Oh, damn it. The sound of the siren head pierces through your ears. Your head explodes? And I die. I didn't say I was any good at dating. So let's try this again. My name is... Kaibo, the third. <laughs> what happened to Kaibo the second? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted some ice cream. That mint chocolate chip that I hate so much, but damn it, I'll take it if I'm gonna die. Siren Head stops, stares at you. Siren Head lifts you up and gives you a nice overview of the forest. That's right, because it's 40 feet tall. Wow, this view is beautiful. You and Siren Head walk off to an ice cream store. <laughs> hey, so you, you want some ice cream too? I mean, I'll pay, I, I guess. I, I assume. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he wants me to pay. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Dinner's on me. The ice cream man looks at both of you with a terrified look. What flavor would you like to get? I'm more of a strawberry man. Strawberry, please. Dot, dot, dot. I have no idea what, what, what he said, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna order what I had ordered for myself, and I'm gonna get him a strawberry, too. Siren Head puts the ice cream into his mouth. He seems to enjoy it. You have no idea what he said, but I'm pretty sure he's like, I wanna, I wanna tell you about, no, that's not how that goes. Please, tell me about your life story. Well, we had a really happy childhood, except for one thing. When I was young, my dog ran away and never came back. I miss him.
Siren stays quiet for a second. Until... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you eat my dog? <gasps> Sparky! Oh, that is such a terrible name for a dog. That is generic. You sound just like him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Does that mean you killed my dog? You bastard! <laughs> now nah, we'll go the safe route. Well, oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Nobody could have ever done something so thoughtful for me. Siren Head stays still for a minute. He starts blushing. <laughs> I didn't even know you guys could blush. You're made of metal. <laughs> you feel yourself starting to blush as well. This is what love feels like after the first date. I'm head over heels for you. This was a lovely date, Siren Head. I hope we can hang out soon. I know. I love you too. I love you too. Is that it? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that was pretty enjoyable. I like it. I'm going to have to add in my own music for the symbionts and whatnot. But yes, that game was called... Siren Head Simulator I Dated. <laughs> Siren Head Dating Simulator. I said that wrong. I don't know. I did it on purpose. What's up, everybody? The name is Joshua Kobach Gaming, and welcome to a game called Siren Head. Now, this game has been making the rounds because it is a 40-foot-tall, monstrous siren head. <laughs> that <laughs> Sirens. <laughs> I don't know. I... Whoop, whoop. <laughs> this is the sound of the police. <laughs> I had to make that joke. <laughs> Look at these graphics. Oh, I'm in for a spook. Pine Ridge hiking trail. No vehicles allowed. All right. So this is supposed to be like a very short demo. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> it's a siren. Almost sounds like there's a tornado around here. <laughs> Is that somebody's shirt? <laughs> All right, man. It sounds like a grand old party. You know, looking at this, I had actually seen this video like two years ago. Wait, does it have claws too? Oh, I guess it does. I guess it would have to have hands. <gasps> oh, no. Sorry, I, I don't know how to commentate this because it's like, there's, there's not very much. Are those people? <laughs> Did he just throw that dude in a tree? He's like, he's like, I'm going to save you for later. Yeah, that's a dude. What is this? Is that an airplane? It's not an airplane. It's too small to be an airplane. That's a bird. It's a big bird. <gasps> I have to get back to the truck now! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's got very long arms. <laughs> it's like an orangutan. <laughs> oh, there's a mouth in the siren head. Oh, I guess you can't kill me. And you're very slow. God, I'm disappointed in you. I've seen a bunch of kaiju movies, and I know Godzilla can move much quicker than that. <laughs> you disappoint me! Multiple siren heads. What am I. I'm I told you I was doing this. What's up, everybody? The name is Joshua Kabash Gaming, and welcome to a game called SCP-6789 Siren Head. You are a guy named Mike, and you live in a small home in a lovely neighborhood. Your wife, Sam, has been out for two hours and should have been back a while ago. The news on TV said to stay in your homes, no matter the situation, but cut to static before you could find out why. And you can't find the remote. I gotta find a remote? I'm getting worried about Sam. I need to find the remote. I don't understand what the remote has to do with with anything. Considering... Am I just stuck in this house? What? I... I can jump? Cool. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily know where the remote is. 
I mean, it could be in the couch cushions. Didn't really give me uh, instructions on how to play. I found the remote. It's right there. I see it. But I can't reach it. Oh, no. Oh, apparently that's not it. Oh, I had to go over the remote. Okay. Now let's flip it over to the news. But why? Nothing ever good comes from... From the news. What's that sound? What's that out the window? Well, I can't. I can't see it. Like, oh, this window. Where? I don't see anything. <gasps> oh my God! Is that a siren head? It's Sam. Wait. Ba baby girl, ba baby, baby girl, why are you? Dr I you got? Head I know. You what was that? I should go check out. You sh you sh you sure should. I'll I'll tell you what. Where did the car go? Probably into a building, or it was snatched up by by Skyrim head. What's in the sky? Those are stars. My. Buddy. On August 26, Mike's body was found on the sidewalk next to his car. <laughs> his car had been flattened to only two inches in height, and his, and his wife, Sam, is believed to be in the car. You can't tell me that uh, a, a Siren Head short film is in the planning phase. Oh, that would be really cool. You, you can't tell me that nobody saw a 40 foot monster. With the sound of a siren, you can't tell me. Like, your first thought is, oh, there's a tornado. But your second thought should be, what the hell is that <laughs> coming towards my house? Gosh. Oh, look at people. Let me crack it up.